Hey everyone, um, it's me Irving. Coming back with uh, the rest of my uh, vinyl collection, and the lovely noise in the background that I'll try to talk over is uh, the Smashing Pumpkins' greatest hits. It's my favorite '90s band. Excellent collection here. Their their best stuff. So here, I'll just get started. I'll try to keep this video brief, less than ten minutes, five ten minutes. All right, here. Let's start with uh, Ray Charles, uh, Modern Sounds in Country and Western Music. It's not an easy title to remember, but it's a great album. I mean, you know, it has some great songs here. You know, it has a I can't stop loving you. I can't stop loving this. Excellent album. Of course, everybody in the collection has to have a. The mamas and the papas. And this is a, I guess, later pressing because that's the gold, uh, gold record award seal. You know, everybody's seen it. So it's not really going to show it much. Oh, but this, this one. <clears throat> Neil Young, after the gold rush. And this is my favorite Neil Young album. I mean, I haven't heard ma uh, many of his albums, but. And this is a good one. I mean, it has Only Love Can Break Your Heart. Uh, the title track, Southern Man. I love, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Crippled Creek Ferry. That one's a good one. Oh, Lonesome Me. Uh, uh, all the songs here are really, really good. Excellent. Superb album by Mr. Young. Here I have a a copy of uh, Hotel California by the Eagles, but it's missing the cover. You know, cleanly ripped off. I wonder how it's supposed to go, anyways, but the vinyl's in good condition, just torn up, missing the cover. <laughs> Bob Dylan. Bring it in all back, bringing it all back home. That's like actually one of the first Dylan albums I got, and I was so happy when I found this. Just some classic Dylan tracks. Um, you know, you gotta have Dylan. You gotta have some of that early Dylan. Sixties. Here we have a. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. You know, it's uh, the, uh, I guess the second, yeah, it's the second, the second half of, of, of his uh, 60s. 60s stuff. You know, in the later 60s. And here we have uh, New Morning. Bob Dylan, and uh, I know, uh, let's see, what is, oh, uh, The Man in Me, you know, if you watch the, the Big Lebowski, that song comes on there, The Man in Me, so, great album, the vinyl's in good condition, too, so, you know, Columbia, Columbia uh, Records, put that away later. And this is one of my favorite punk bands right now. Uh, it's uh, Planet Waves by the band Moonglow. No, I'm just kidding, it's another Bob Dylan album. It's uh, Bob Dylan's Planet Waves and he has the, the backing band as... The, the band is his backing band, you know, reunited with, with his old uh, tour, tour band. The band. And you know, this one has a Forever Young, two versions of Forever Young. The four minute version, then like a more up tempo version. I think, yeah, which is not bad, actually, not bad. Really good album. Though not his best, but it's still good. Of course, you gotta have a. Uh, oh, I can't see it. Oh. It's 
speaking of waves, um, here uh, we have a blood on the tracks. Still in the shrink, in excellent condition. Um, you know, it's up there right among Dylan's best, you know, his, without a doubt, you know, his best album from the 70s. And you know, he was going through a divorce, you know, it's just laid it all out here. Excellent, excellent. And then Bob Dylan's Desire. Of course, has a hurricane. But here, I think, what is it? One more cup of coffee. I think this is my favorite song on here. More Dylan. Just Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Lots of Dylan on here. <clears throat> okay, moving on to this next stack. Of course, you're going to have a Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Just um, you know, it got stuck to some other vinyl and just peeled off. But this one has some great pictures inside of the band. Just, you know, Lindsey Buckingham, Christy McVie, Michael Fleetwood. You know, um, uh, who am I? <laughs> I'm already forgetting their names. Uh, you know, Stevie Nicks. And then this is my favorite, like, just, uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, you know, nice little picture of the band here, you know, classic breakup album, I guess you could say, mm, here, let's see, I'm trying to do these in order, kind of, of course, Big Brother and Holy Company, Cheap Thrills. Janice. I mean, one of my favorite covers, and by uh, done by Art Crumb. Just some excellent work. Excellent, excellent work. Of course, here's the Doors self-titled debut. Doors. The Doors of Perception has been opened. In the words of Aldous Huxley. And here we have Simon and Garfunkel, or Simon the G Funk Man, as I like to say. Now, this one comes with a good poster if you haven't seen it. Uh, here's the vinyl. Uh, here. I won't show it all, but here, let's see, I could open it up back up. Look at that. Look at that. BFFs back in the day. But, yeah, you know, this one's, you know, it has a Miss Robinson and all that. And, uh, let's see. Over, Voice of Old People, Monkey's Dilemma. Good album, good album. But not their best, because this one is their best. Bridge over troubled water. So many styles on here. I love uh, uh, Why Don't You Write Me, uh, Cecilia, uh, oh, El Condor Pasa. That's a really good one. Really nice. Really nice. Of course, here, Buddy Holly Lives. Look at that picture. I love that picture. I, I'm Bayali. I'm from the future. You know, just the hits. I mean, he has more hits than this. This, this compilation doesn't do him justice. If you really want, if you're, if you're a fan of music overall, I mean, you have to get, like, the really big comprehensive compilation of his stuff. And we have, uh, Bob Marley and the Wailers, Catch a Fire. Of course, not the, not the cover I wanted. Excellent albums. Early, early Wailers. I actually have the CD. I'm looking for this. This version. Of course, some of you may know this goes for a pretty penny. And there's the, the deluxe CD version. You know, that's the cover I want. 
as a collector, I mean, you know, I think we all have uh, that uh, on our wish list. So whenever I find that at a good price, I'm getting it. Alright, here's a Bob Marley and the Whalers early music. You know, it's got some early music. Early before, before the Whaler days. Really, late 60s stuff. Oh, excuse me. Bob Marley and the Whalers, Confrontation. Just an awesome cover. Look at that. Just so, so much. Well, not really. I mean, you know, Bob's riding a white horse, having a dragon with uh, not a spear. Yeah, a spear. Let's call it a spear. I'm going to say Lance, but... Here's another. Um, I you could see it. And the lyrics in the back here. Of course, one of the greatest compilations ever, Bob Marley's and the Whalers, Legend. The only thing I don't like about this one is that there's a uh, remix versions, and I mean, if you're gonna have a greatest hits version, put the greatest hits on here, not remix versions of these hits. I mean, there's they're not they're not bad though. I mean, there's remixes of Buffalo Soldier, Waiting in Vain, Exodus, Jamming, No Woman No Cure, No Woman No Cry. I mean, come on, just, just put the original version in there. Makes it a true uh, original compilation. Of oh, greatest hits. And here, let's see. One of my favorite albums ever. Top five for me. I really don't know the other four, but for sure, without a doubt, Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions. Love the artwork on this one. Look at that. Look at that. His synths, his keys. Wow, 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 wow. I love this. I love the sounds. Every single sound arranged in this album. I love it. Johnny Cash and Folks in Prison. Uh, of course, I think everyone in the VC agrees that this one of the coolest album covers ever. Just not fitting on the music, though, but wow, it's just, what an album cover. I mean, the music's okay, you know, I, I mean, I won't listen to it often, I'm not something, you know, not something I'm in the mood for often, but it's, it's good, it's good, not bad. Asia, Steely Dan, classic. Mm -hmm. here, just got some liner notes, but, you know, just the nice, 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 it's, this album's so nice, it's easy on the ears. Well engineered. The Pretenders. This is their self-titled. Is their debut? No, yeah, no. I don't know. It's, yeah, I think it is their debut, actually. But, oh, look at this. The inner sleeve. I love this picture. I love it. Excellent. I'm uh, starting to... Um, they'll find another copy soon. Really, I mean, the Space Invaders, the instrumental. Steve Miller Band. Do, 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 do. I wanna fly like an eagle. <clears throat> you gotta have thriller. You gotta have thriller. It's a fact. And apparently, this album was owned by Babe Ruth before because it says Bambino here. I mean, I'm trying to get rid of that. Just, uh, I don't know how. I don't want to ruin his, his little white coat here. You know, just classic. Undeniable. Undeniable. Not going to deny it. Of course, I showed you the police in my intro video. And Synchronicity. Another police classic. Um, uh, my favorite song on here is... Ah. 
Yes, it's ah, that's my favorite song on here. Um, Synchronicity one. Yeah, that's that's probably yeah. Or oh my god, oh, I think it's oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. The rest of the band. Sting and the guys. All right, well that's that's it for now. But I got another video coming soon, and so I hope you enjoyed this one. Like, uh, comment, subscribe. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.